in this English lesson. I wanted to help you learn the English phrase to fly off the shelves. If you are in a store and they are selling something, maybe it's on sale and people are just grabbing it and buying it as fast as they can, we would say that that product is flying off the shelves. Sometimes at market, we bring a certain kind of flower that people really like and it will just fly off the shelves. So the phrase to fly off the shelves simply means when something sells really, really quickly at a market or in a store or in a shop, we're really happy when our flowers fly off the shelves. It's a nice feeling when there's people lined up to buy them. The other phrase I want to teach you today is the phrase to sell like hotcakes. Now, you should go and watch Brent's video. I'll put a link up here or here. I don't know where it goes. Brent talked about this the other day in one of his short lessons. He went to buy uh, air conditioners and they were selling like hotcakes. In English, when we say that something is selling like hotcakes, it means the same thing. It means something is selling really, really quickly. And by the way, you'll have to go listen to Brent's lesson to find out what a hotcake is. Um, it might not be what you're expecting. Um, I'm not going to tell you here. Anyways, uh, there's a link somewhere or there will be in the description as well. So to review, when something flies off the shelves, it means it's selling really, really quickly. And when something sells like hotcakes, it means the same thing. It means that it is selling really, really quickly. But hey, let's look at a comment from a previous video. I have the comment right here. I'm at school. When I print the comments at school, or I'm at school today, um, they come out really big and in color. So here we go. From Right Winter, is the meaning of to take a load off the same as to let my hair down? And my response, they are related but slightly different. To take a load off makes me think of someone sitting on a couch and relaxing. To let your hair down makes me think of someone dancing and having fun. So yeah, they both mean to not work, to do something that's not work. But one has an element of relaxing to it. Um, one means, you know, you're just going to take a nap or sit on the couch and watch some sports. And the other one means that you're going to do something fun, something that's not work. Anyways, I'm out here today going for a little walk. I thought I would come back to this bridge. Um, this is kind of a fun place to make a video. Um, and uh, I usually come here at the beginning of the school year to make a video. I think I did it last year as well. Hello, you're not in the video. I'm uh, videotaping myself. Um, but it's a nice place, as you remember, because sometimes the water is running. Sometimes it's dry, but today you can see that there's water. And it has this beautiful sound. I like the sound of water. You can see as well, you can see some water running down there. It's just a beautiful place to come, so I thought I would show it to you again. I might make my Wednesdays with Bob video here as well in just a few minutes. Um, there are a lot of people out and about today, but for some reason, when I started recording, they all disappeared. I thought you were going to be able to watch people walk behind me. Um, there's people out walking their dogs. Uh, there's people just out for a stroll. Uh, I saw a few people with strollers. A stroller is a small little thing you push with wheels that you put your kids or babies in. I'll, I'll put a picture over here. Um, it's just a fun morning. People running, people jogging. So even though it's a Monday morning, people are out here having fun. Um, I'm not sure why they're not all at work. Um, I'm sure they have jobs, but who knows? It's not all fun and games in Canada. Uh, anyways, the bridge, um, a nice little footpath, and the great outdoors, another nice view of Canada. Thanks for watching this little English lesson. Uh, I'll see you in a few days with another one. Bye.